leave it lost on here. Can anyone hear us? It's always and see us. It's always the. Uh, Why are we waiting? Why are we waiting? Hello, all. I, don't, I still don't know if we're if, if we're, we're live, live or not. Yeah, look, we've been live for twenty seconds. No. Yeah. Yeah, I reckon they have to watch a trailer, maybe. Oh, what do we just wait here? Then? No, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Can anyone see us or hear us or? Oh yes, you're live. You're yeah? live. Are yes. we here? Are we good? Yes, you are. Oh, lovely. Thank you. We didn't know what was good. <laughs> professionals over here. Professionals, obviously. The lives are so hard to set up. It's an absolute nightmare. Uh, first of all, apologies if I keep looking this way, but I can't read the comments no. that far away. So and phone as well. So I have to read them on the laptop. So hello everyone. Before we even start, I want to say a massive shout out to anyone from Australia. I know there's a few of you in already. I've no idea what time it is out of there, but I know people have either stayed up or they've got up ridiculously early. So, good day, mates. Do yours. <laughs> do yours. Good day, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Useless. <laughs> Put another shrimp on the. No, that's really even worse. Isn't it? Apologies to all the Australians for Emily's like pure butchering of your accent there. You never know. I could have done it justice. To be fair. <laughs> um, so we've got quite a lot of questions on the community post and over on Instagram. So we're gonna quickly smash through them and then we'll do the ones in the chat so if you have a question don't put it in yet because we won't see it because it just goes crazy and it's ridiculously hard to keep up with yes and also we just want to say a massive thank you because what's the reason why we're doing a live louise we hit 50k baby ah exciting exciting which is a ridiculous amount of people so thank you all very much i know subscribing to our channel is hard work at times <sighs> it's hard work for, for us yeah, yeah. <laughs> but we appreciate it so cheers guys right so questions let's do this i like a little bit of like a nosy questions and stuff and any like funny ones as well emily when are you going to start sharing your snacks with lou never <laughs> that was quick and easy yep easy and also hello christine who's got a toothache so we hope it's not oh. too bad it's one of the toothache and earache have got to be mm. the worst right toothache definitely definitely it's never nice right Oh, and before we do any more questions, I just want to clear this whole snack versus treat situation uh, up because I wasn't aware that there were two separate categories. I'm sure you've tried to argue with me this in Spain. I, I have, because the thing is, like, and as well, ice cream, like, I have a snack cupboard. I said when the snack cupboard, but ice cream doesn't go in the cupboard, therefore it doesn't come under the snack, like, cupboard rule. But if it's late at night and you're watching a film and it's like half past nine and you go to the freezer and get ice cream, that's a snack, right? But if you buy ice, I think this is what people are saying. If you're out and about and you buy ice cream, it's a treat. Is yes. that right? Yes, that is correct, isn't it? Well, you're the, you're the guru on the subject. I so am. What I, <laughs> and plus, anyway, there was loads of people that agreed with me like in the video. So, yes, definitely. Emily did win that argument. Right. <laughs> this one's interesting. No, this is no message come through from Bruce. No, he's bruising, <laughs> flipping. South he Africans know, are banned. He... Banned. Across the ball. <laughs> <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> oh, for God's sake, <laughs> Bruce. The we can't put that on the live, I'm afraid. Right, this one, be, this one I think the surprise most of you. Who sulks the longest when we have a tiff? Louise. It is me. I do sulk for the longest. Oh, I can hold a grudge. <laughs> honestly, I'm just like, get over it. Seriously. Me, I'm very much do my bit. Um, uh, this one isn't a question, maybe just uh, a general... I'm not sure if this is meant with offence at all. No matter how you try, Lou, the s consequences of the snack cupboard still show. I think you're saying I look fat. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> I've taken it in good jest, whatever it means. She's getting some junk in that trunk. <laughs> uh, would you ever upgrade your van or are you going to be sticking with Fanny for now? You could call her Fanny 2.0. Well, I'll stick with Fanny for as long as Fanny will stick with me, if I'm honest. Not that long. <laughs> <laughs> Slowly going. Yeah, I'm sure at some point there will be an upgrade, but we built this van to last us a good few years, didn't we? So. Yes, we did. And we have re rejigged it for ageing as well. So yeah, yeah, it's done us three years. I'll be happy if we get another three out of it, I guess. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. 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 But Just to get through this trip will be like... If we can get through this trip without a breakdown, well... Yeah, you know, we're onto a winner, so... Freezer blocks, waste of space or handy back up in an emergency? So I don't actually have a freezer block. I have ice cube trays because I really like iced coffee. But, so for me, they're but, an essential. She has to keep getting them out of the freezer and melting them down to make room for ice cream. <laughs> That's true, actually. 
So if you had a big enough freezer, then yeah, freezer blocks would be really handy, especially to stick in your bag if you're taking food out on like a long hike or something or a day out yeah. or whatever. But we don't have our freezers like tiny, tiny, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So it is for ice and ice cream. That's that's the freezer. Also, I've just realised also anyone from New Zealand, thank you very much for coming because I'm pretty sure your time zone will be similar to um, Oz. So I don't want to just lump it with the Aussies. No. The Kiwis as well. Yes. Uh, uh, I'm not very good at geography, so I don't know. <laughs> then they're, they're next door to each other. How do you cope with all the cat fur? I live in a cloud of it. Yep, yep. The cat fur is a massive problem. I genuinely, right? See, when we got a cat, I did not know that cats molted more than dogs. Like, it's ridiculous. Louise picked her up earlier and then was just left with, like, a, just a coat of summer. So I had to roll her down. But, so yes, I have um, the limp rollers. I've got, like... The fluffy thing that goes in and out i've got a hoover i've got a brush all of that all helps so yeah the cat and the dog hair is probably the thing i like least about van life if i'm honest yeah or van life with an animal because not all van lifers have it how long does the fresh water last when filled up about a week if we're careful yeah yeah we yeah. could probably stretch it to 10 days if we was really scrimping with it but i'd washing every other day and you know all that you, lot. emily only <laughs> washes every other day anyway shut up are you hoping to make it to the Atlantic Road? Well, we're hoping to make it all the way north, but we will have to see, won't we? Yeah, we, we like to be able to explore, take our time between work, animals, all of that stuff. So, yeah, who who knows? Are we developing red noses, snack withdrawal symptoms? No, it's Emily's alcoholism. <laughs> <laughs> She's a raging alcohol. Everyone says, how does she stay so happy all the time? I'm drunk now. Vodka. <laughs> this isn't water. Uh, why not enjoy the south and then go across into Sweden? Sweden's on the list, so it might be a possibility. We'll have to wait and see. Um, why do we only have 90 days? Since we left Europe, or left the EU, sorry, we lost our Schengen privileges, so to speak. So like most other nationalities now outside of the Schengen zone, we can only go in for 90 days at a time unless we get a visa. So that is why, unfortunately, we only have 90 days. But visas are possible, so, and quite, they seem quite fairly easy to do, so an option but this is a long question so i'm going to read it fast tucked beside a waterfall on a disused bit of trail you find a hundred crone krona is that a lot sounds like a lot and pop in text blah, blah, blah. it translates as so you find the note use this as the troll guide you do you leave everything as it is because who trusts google translate do you use the hundred krona to buy more stacks do you return to troll picken and make an offering of a packet of viagra to the resident spirit who we know is dealing with a touch of ed poor philo because if you didn't see the troll picken video it's a very very disappointing size or make a special trip and donate your windfall to the local rescue emily will spend it on snacks she will say she'll donate it to the local rescue but you will spend it on snacks i will donate it to the local rescue actually <laughs> so cheeky uh, where did I grow up? We both grew up in Kent, so that's where our accent's from. So we're not Cockneys and we're not from Essex, we're from Kent. But I, I sound a lot posher. You do not. <laughs> I'm probably the most common out of both of us, actually. Uh... Oh! Do we ever worry about snakes and other nasty beastie beasties when we're out and about? Yes, that is why we often hike in trousers, but our main concern is for AJ and Summer uh, when it comes to things like snakes and nasty spiders and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I saw a bit of a dodgy spider today actually. It was like a big black one with like a really, what colour? Blue, blue, bl blue back, which I couldn't find what it was online, but yeah, it didn't look very nice. I'm not going to lie. That was the alcohol again. <laughs> do you have any plans to visit Southern Ireland in the future? Not just Southern Ireland, all of Ireland we want to do, don't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. Ireland's actually quite high on our like top of our list of places we really, really want to go. It's just because of that Schengen thing it's, and the weather and seasons, it's just timing all the different places in. Do you know what? Like, it is so hard to fit everything in that you want to do. There's so many countries that we want to go to, spend time in. But yeah, because of the whole shuffle and the weather... Oh, it's just so difficult, right? Yeah, really difficult. I mean, make, we want to make sure we give it a decent amount of time in Ireland because obviously we've got to get a ferry over. Yeah. So we don't want to just go for a few weeks. We mm -hmm. want to go for a decent amount of time, don't yeah. we? Yeah, but that's on our list. Australia's on our list. America's on our list. New Zealand, Canada. <laughs> it's all there. It's all on our list except for China. China's not on our list. Yeah, that's the only one, yeah. Um, pets usually choose the human parent they favour. So who does summer favour more? You. No, it used to be me. 
But now I'd say it's you because you're the feeder. Yeah, and she does, she actually does um, follow me, doesn't she? Like, yeah, she follows Emily stuff. around. And yeah. It's really quite funny because she knows you're the feeder. <laughs> <laughs> and who does AJ favour more? I say you. Yeah, only just though, only just. And that's only because he knows that if we're out and about, that if there's adventures to be had, I'm going and she's going to make him wait like in the safe car park. Yeah, honestly, if we go out on a walk together and Lou goes off somewhere, he is not happy at all. He's like, I need to go with her and just, and will not move from that spot until she come back. It's just ridiculous, honestly. Uh, what's our average monthly budget whilst we're traveling in the EU? We haven't got one. We just kind of go with the flow, don't we? Yeah, yeah. We kind of, we, we, I don't know. We don't like overspend or anything like that. Um, but especially with Norway, we knew it was going to be more expensive. So we've, we kind of had that in mind. So we didn't have a set budget, did we? We don't not do anything we don't want to do. But because we travel with a dog and a cat, there's mm -hmm. a lot we can't do. So if we didn't have the animals, I'm 100% certain we would spend a lot more money. But there's a lot we cannot do. So really, for us, we do a lot of hiking, a lot of walking. Yeah. It's all free activities, generally. Yeah. So just the, uh, I can't go, um, M, take loose hat off. Do you know don't what? You it is not worth my life. <laughs> I am not joking you. I will take a hit on a lot of things, but taking loose hat off. She takes my hat off. I will dismantle the snack cupboard. Yeah, you just, you just ain't gonna risk that kind of loss, are you? <laughs> no. no, it's not worth it. It's really not. Uh, one, do you get the camera out and film, or is there something like a script or a plan? There's no script, so sometimes we'll have in our mind, like, we'll know we filmed, like, uh, a bit in the daytime, so we'll think, well, we'll get a little bit in the evening, in the morning, to try and make the video flow, but there's no script. We don't say, oh, we're going to say this, we're going to say this, so mm. we just kind of start filming, and then once we've started filming, we can kind of go, well, the video's been a lot about this, and we'll theme it around that, or we're doing this next but we don't want to just jump to that so should we film like a bit of dinner or whatever yeah and so there's no script but there is a vague plan as the video goes along yeah that so that sense. it so that it flows better so you're not just going from bright bright blue skies into like four days later in a cave or whatever not yeah that although happens, there is but... the occasional two days later that <laughs> on the screen. yeah sometimes we do lose you but uh, it is what it is. Have you lost all the stuff now? Yeah, I'm catching up, I'm catching up, I'm catching up. Here, I've got one. Is there anything you forgot to pack that would um, that would have been really handy? I'm thinking practical things rather than Emily's snacks. <laughs> <laughs> is there anything you forgot to pack? I don't think so. I think we did well this time. Yeah, I think um, the last couple of trips we've kind of learned a little bit more. Oh, do you know what? A table. Oh, uh, yeah, because in Norway, you, you can get your tables and chairs out in most yeah. places. We don't normally take a table no. because even though you can, like, free park in Spain and stuff, it's not common that you get tables and chairs out everywhere. Yeah. It's rare, and, isn't it? Yeah, in certain places, if you get chairs out and tables outside your van, your class is camping, and then that's illegal. But in Norway, because it's so accepted, everyone does it. I'm like, oh, I took the table out. So, yeah, table. Yeah, and do you know what else? A couple of people have asked a message and stuff about um because they got caravans and that. There's so many like while camping in Torres. Yeah, Torres. You got rooftop tents. You got tents like all of it. There's two Torres outside now. And they unhitch and everything. So like he's parked his car around the corner and set his yeah. caravan up, which I think is really cool. It's yeah, it's crazy. Uh, the phone footage, the phone dash cam. It's just my mobile phone for filming like the road footage. It's just the iPhone in a in a holder. So that's what we film that with. Have you thought of towing a trailer just for the snack cupboard? Yes, 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 we have. It may, a roof box. <laughs> it may be compulsory soon. Uh, someone's asked, how difficult is it to get a pet passport to travel with a cat from the UK? It wasn't difficult when we did it, but mm -hmm. I understand it's getting more and more difficult as time goes on, especially in the north of France. However, we've been told, we don't know, but we've been told that in Spain and parts of Portugal at the minute, the vets are really trying to help people out and letting them use yeah. like the vet's address. But again, we've just been told that we don't know. So if I was doing it now, I'd probably head south and not try and get it done in like the popular parts of France. So mm -hmm. it's still doable. People are still doing it. And But I would say get one sooner rather than later. Um, do I ever wear a different hat? Sometimes, but you don't like it when I wear my top hat, do you? No. <laughs> She's like cap only, Lou, cap only. He's such a twat. How top hat. How do AJ and Summer cope with you two? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, bless them. Their dad never ignoring us now, backs to us and stuff. So. They're both asleep. Yeah. yeah. Um, someone's put, 
because you film so much you must have caught some accidental moments on camera so what's the coolest or funniest thing you've accidentally recorded to be honest anything silly that happens by accident on camera we leave it in so we don't there's very little that we cut out the only thing i tend to cut out when i'm editing is all the uh 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 and, <laughs> and things like that all, all this <laughs> yeah or a lot of <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Do it. Go on. Do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna screen grab that afterwards and <laughs> start using that all the time. Shut up. Do we add anything to our water storage to keep algae from growing? Because our water tank is in continued use, it stays pretty fresh and clean. But if we ever park up for a long period of time, I would buy the the cleaner and give it a big flush through. Uh, but generally, no, it's okay. But we don't drink from our tank like drinking water like cups of teas and boiling water we will but mm -hmm. we do carry like a separate thing just for if you want a glass of water um someone's put tell me you found the church i found a few churches oh we've seen a few churches i'm not gonna lie i found a few churches if you were sick of waterfalls congratulations you're now <laughs> yeah, getting churches, churches. <laughs> yeah but they are cool churches so stay tuned for that honestly they're really good churches uh, what is the one thing you wish you would have researched more on the van build before tackling? Well, not before tackling, but I wish I'd have researched engines that come in these vans because I would have bought a van with a slightly bigger, more powerful engine because we are mm -hmm. slow, aren't we? Yeah, we are really slow. Yeah. Um, and where have we put our earth for our laser battery? It's just on the rear door pillar at the bottom. So before this was all covered in, I've left a bit exposed and that's where I've earthed everything. Um, I'm just wondering how long of a hose and the sure power cable you would recommend making and bringing with me. I don't want to be carrying too much and have reduced the snack cupboard. <laughs> we have a 10 meter on a roll hose, which we hardly ever use, but we have had to use a few times because yep. sometimes you can't park right next to the tap. Um, and we have a 20 meter extension cable, which we hardly ever use, but we have been to one or two places where a short one wouldn't have been enough. You would need the, the, the long one. Yeah, are we talking about the electric and the water? Yeah. Oh. What did you think I was talking about? What, what other hoses have we got? <laughs> oh and we've also got a few changes of subject. <laughs> Let's go back to that. What other hoses and shore power cables have we got? I didn't know what shore power cable was. <laughs> you muppet. I thought it was the, the hookup, but people, like, you just say electric hookup. Like, no, people shore... say shore power. I've never heard of that before. It's from boats. Because well, the boats, the boating industry, they go to shore and plug in, so plug it's shore it in, power. Yeah, but oh, it's electric hookup. I just didn't know. And we also have, a few of you have noticed, it's in our cab, is a funnel. Go and get it, the giant shiwi. Everyone <laughs> thinks this is a giant shiwi. It's not a giant shiwi. Everyone thinks this is so we can shiwi out the window. <laughs> shiwi out the window. <laughs> Could you imagine that? So... so this is if we can't, if we can only find like a fountain tap in a field, which is quite common in some countries, mm -hmm. we can fill up a big jerry can and then, don't put that in your mouth, <laughs> connect this to the to the filler point and then just pour it into there. So it's a bit of a slow ball ache of a process, but yeah, it we does, have actually used it, it a does help. Times, haven't we, so. Stop talking. Oh yeah, apparently where I'm from, where we live now, they've in the in a heat wave, there's no water, which I oh. <laughs> sorry you're here, but that's funny, come on. <laughs> what is it, two days now, isn't it? No water. You need to get um one of the toilets that we've got. Um what was the most challenging part of the van build? I've discussed this lots of times. It was definitely learning the electrics. Uh, but once you do the electrics, it's actually easier than you think. And if we were both armed with those big cotton bud things from gladiators, which one of you would win in a fight? Emily, are you ready? Oh, we should do that. Emily would win in a fight because she's brutal. <laughs> I'm a little bit competitive. That's the issue, I think. Uh, is there anything we bought with us that we should not have bothered taking? Uh, at the moment, my tent, I've not had time to use it, have I? No, that's true. Yeah, and that's a lot of weight in there, actually. And all of Emily's clothes, because if you watch the videos, you're literally wearing <laughs> just, just, <laughs> those trousers and your tracksuit bottoms. So you bought like four or five dresses. <laughs> I have worn one dress, actually. Oh, this one's for you. This one's for you. If you could be a full-time snack tester for any company in the world, which one would you choose? Oh, do you know what? It's got to be Jamie Lang's like company now. Because, really? Yeah, he does good sweets. Candy kittens. It's called Candy, candy kittens. kittens. Yeah. They are good sweets. So if anyone knows Jamie Lang, <laughs> can like hook me up. That's the posh blonde git from Made in Chelsea. But good sweets, good sweets. 
Would we ever consider going into space? Absolutely no chance would I go into space. She won't even go on a plane. Not anymore. Alone going into space. Are you having a laugh? Or deep sea camping in the sub. No, I wouldn't do that either. No, no. Too scared. Too much of a wimp. Someone said, um, you seem to have lots of different outfits and nothing is ever wrinkled. Please show us as much space is allocated for coats, boots, trainers, sandals, hoodies, t-shirts, shorts, hiking trousers and sweatshirts, dresses in Emily's case. <gasps> Do you bring an iron? We will cover properly all of that in a van tour, mm -hmm. which we have been promising now for two and a half years. We will film a van tour. <laughs> we will do a van tour at some point, I'm sure of it. Um, but we will cover it all properly. But we have one overhead storage cupboard each. Yep. We have two little drawers underneath the bed for underwear and, and then the, the overhead storage above the cab we have like one cube thick like bag yeah, like thing. a storage bag thingy that we've got like summer stuff and everything like that in um and a couple of little ones for some coats and stuff like that and no i do not have an iron i roll all my clothes up a uh, quick tip about ironing though don't bother honestly if you get dressed an hour before you're due to go out your clothes will wrinkle, oh, yeah. de-wrinkle themselves, I promise. Yeah, it's, yes, yeah, it's, it's not too bad, is it? Right, I think, I think I am done <clears throat> with the okay. YouTube questions. So, um, as Fanny tends to break down, have you bought a pet carrier for summer and extra bags for your own bits? Actually, we do always carry a pet carrier for summer in case she has to go to the vets, but trip three... Yeah. Have, have, you, have you bought that, breakdown bags? You haven't no. bought breakdown bags, have you? I just thought that. You are useless. <clears throat> I have actually got a big laundry bag that I bought before I came, the Sports Direct one. So we could use that to be fair because I haven't used it for a laundry bag. <laughs> <laughs> That's no good. Um, do we still need to produce COVID passports in Europe or a COVID test? We didn't have to produce them at the border, but you did register them on our booking. You had, yes. Did you have to do that? Yes, I did. Um, it wasn't, yeah, it was the COVID, it was your, your jab thingies. Your vaccination so, passport. The vaccination passport, and if you didn't have a vaccination passport, then it was your COVID, um, like, test. Proof. Yeah. However, that was six weeks ago. Mm. It, we haven't checked uh, now, so it could have um, changed by then. And where was your favourite place you've travelled so far, so far on your journeys? Uh, my favourite place that I've ever been to, oh, this is tough, Tijuana in Mexico, uh, Byron Bay in Australia, with you, probably um, the safari in Africa, okay. where, where was that, Mombasa? Uh, Kenya. Kenya. Kenya, and yeah. then Mexico, we really like Mexico as well. Yeah, Mexico, we? yeah. Uh, we like Slovenia too. Um, and then Norway is going to be, once we're done with it, very I think Norway is, yeah, Norway, honestly, I just, I don't, I don't know what it is, like... You do know what it is, I'll tell you what it is. <laughs> they all speak English, right, which Emily likes, and the snack selection here is the best we've ever seen, and the food is the closest country we've ever been to to getting UK similar-based yeah. food. honestly, I can get cheddar everywhere. It's all about the cheddar. <laughs> it's all like, about the cheddar, about the cheddar, about Show the cheddar. Show me the cheddar, folks. <laughs> What's your favourite country? Yeah, I like Norway because I could get good cheddar. <laughs> Cathedral city and everything. Never mind the mountains, waterfalls, views, hikes, <laughs> free wild camping, all of that, that cheddar. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Right, is that all the Instagram questions? Yeah, that's all the Instagram questions. Are you sure? Because I don't feel like you was committed. <laughs> I, was, I, think, I think so. Right. Right, I'm going to start looking this way now because this is where the chat is. So, let's have a, have a little Oh, look. let me do Bruce's question quickly. Mm -hmm. A sensible question from Bruce. If Emily was asked to work in the office for a month, would you travel without, without her? 100% yes. yes, I would. Yes. I'd like it as well. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that. I think uh, before the end of the year, I'll probably go and do a solo trip just mm -hmm. so you can spend, because you want to spend a few weeks at least in the office, yeah. don't you? Yeah. So there probably will be some sort of solo trip coming. And no, Bruce, I will not take you, but you can be a day visitor. <laughs> <laughs> That's a day, day release, Bruce. That suits you. Has Funder Clunge got a weight limit? Yes, she has. I can't remember what it is, but um, there is a weight limit for the kayak. So if you're going to get one, do look at that. Are there any pot noodles on board? Do you know? Yes, because I asked the other day and you said yes. How many? Six. Oh, you're Is reaching. It? You're reaching then. Four, no. Two. <laughs> yeah, two each. Two, uh, two each. Um, this one's coming up a lot. I know we've discussed it many times, but there's a lot of new people to the channel now. So how did we meet? We was very, very drunk <coughs> in a nightclub and Emily stole my hat from my head, at which point I would normally slap her, but I turned around, saw your moves, didn't know, and went, nah, she's all right. Saw this cute little face. It wasn't the face, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice, is it? Right. 
Em is all about the cheese. I am all about the cheese. Um, Getting a lot of questions about the costs in Norway. We're going to do two videos. Emily's going to do like a what things cost, like general things here in Norway. And then once we've finished the trip, we'll do one. We're not going to do like a cost thing all the time, but we'll do one big cost video on the trip, on the whole yeah. trip, won't we? Yeah, I am keeping track of it. And um, a lot of people have asked as well about the what we words and stuff of the locations. And I have been a bit slack. I'm not going to lie, but I am... We've said it before, but I am stupidly busy at work, but I am working on all of the stops that we've done and the what three words and they will be up on the website at some point. At some point Emily soon. Emily used to do like a, a bi-weekly blog that went along with the yeah. videos but emily's job is really busy at the minute and the check because the channel and the instagram are getting bigger emily mm -hmm. does a lot of the comments emails questions all those things so you just don't physically have the time to do it all anymore do you no no so i am trying to juggle things at the moment and trying to work out the the balance and how to fit it all in so please just bear with me but the information will be up there eventually i promise i have started working on it i swear um, how old are AJ and Summer? AJ's nine and Summer, is she 10 or 11 She's now? 10. She's 10. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, Wilson was 11. Okay, yeah, nine and 10. So they're getting on. You need Norwegian brown cheese. I haven't seen this. I need to have a look, actually. I'm not eating Norwegian brown cheese. Ah. Uh, so is our insurance okay with the van in Norway? My insurance won't let me to go to Norway in the van. Yes, it is. I did check because Norway's not in the EU. A lot of people don't realise that. So... Um, some insurance companies may look at Norway differently, but we're absolutely fine in Norway. I found that most uh, companies are reluctant to cover Spain because it's the most expensive place to deal with vehicle repairs. But <laughs> no, Norway is on our insurance and our breakdown cover as well. Can you do an active live out and about? I don't know if you can do one on YouTube, but maybe we could do one on Instagram. We was going to try and do... No, we can do it on YouTube. We was going to try and do it um, here outside tonight, but we're in a lay-by, so it's just really, really noisy. But yeah. I do want to do like a, a live where you can kind of see where we are and whatnot. Yeah, that'd be quite nice, actually. So if we find somewhere where we can do it, yeah, we'll, we'll do one. I can be able to do it in the next couple of weeks, I think, maybe. I'm not doing another... You won't do another live in the next couple of weeks. Well, this is late, you know. Like, this is 10 o'clock for me. Like, it's lucky that it's light outside, to be fair. Yes, Ash, I very much still want to drive the tractor. It's going to be the highlight of my trip. <laughs> oh, honestly. Oh, actually, I want to drive the tractor. Ash, don't let her. No, mate, no, it will break down. Um, we've seen a lot of good... There's a lot of good tractors in Scandinavia. Some oh, proper old retro... Yes. If you don't know, I love... Tra I have a real thing for tractors, don't I? So, Such a And the way older, way. the better. So if we make it to Sweden and to Ashes, then yes, I definitely would like to drive the tractor. Yeah. Um, if it breaks down, though, I hold no responsibility. <laughs> but I can let you borrow our AA cover. Um, have you ever wanted to visit Canada? Yes, Canada's high... So uh, North America, Canada, South America, they are all very high on the list, but none of those can be done in the van while we've got the pets. So they will just have to wait. But you are dying to do the States. Oh, uh, yeah. Like I've been to Canada a few times. Uh, well, um, Nova Scotia, um, Newfoundland and them types of places when I, when I was in the Navy and stuff. And I absolutely loved it. And I'd love to go back with Louise and because the people there are super friendly, right? Canadians are awesome. Oh, honestly, yeah, we've got a few on holiday, haven't we? When I very just... first travelled, I went to Australia and did like the typical backpackers East Coast route, and there were loads of Canadians, and they have got a similar sense of humour to the English, I think, to the British. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we always really like Canadians. Um, how many cans of beans? I've actually still got a few cans of beans, and I hear that you can't get them in Tesco's at the moment. So if anyone wants any beans, <laughs> we're going to bring them back. <laughs> yeah, because I found some beans, so it's always nice. Um, someone said, oh, uh, we're heading over to Norway next week. Any secret tips or would you like any UK snacks bringing over? Oh, thank you very much. But I'm really happy with all the snacks out here. Uh, tips for Norway. I'd say don't don't restrict yourself to the typical uh, coastal route. It's mm -hmm. really busy at the minute on the on the normal, which yeah. is the, the western coast path up. It is getting packed. Like you park, We get to park ups earlier than most. And by like nine o'clock, people are turning up when they can't get a space. But don't think that you need to be there because there's so much inland isn't there that you can go and see yeah there is there's there's a lot more than what you think actually and the weather's a lot better however the mosquitoes are more rife in in the middle yeah we've we're starting to learn that actually oh that's the point ash mosquitoes in sweden how how bad are they because you're panicking aren't you yeah that we haven't got enough like mosquito spray um uh, lots of people are asking when the annual breakdown video is coming out <laughs> <laughs> let's let's pray not yeah 
comes and meets. I hear your favourite colour is orange, Lou. I think um, we might have a problem. <laughs> I do like orange. Where have you heard that? <clears throat> Probably because of like everything that you wear and stuff. Is it orange or yellow? I do like it's bright colours. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what drone do we use? It's just the Mavic Air 2 at the moment, um, but I am hoping for an upgrade this year. Yeah. Uh, again, we've covered this one a few times. Why does Lou always wear a hat? It comes from when she was working outside. So in the summer, she would need to wear a cap because the sun would be in her eyes. And then in the winter, she would get earache from like the wind and stuff. So yeah, I get migraines a... from the sun and then earache, which leads to migraines from the wind. So it was always a cap in the summer, a woolly hat in the winter. And then it's just kind of become a thing. Yeah. And yeah. now if my head sees the light of day, it gets burnt and I get headaches and then I have to put a hat on. It's just a, it's a cycle. It's a cycle. If, if there is by some miracle that I, like she's captured on camera swimming, because that's generally the only time you're going to see her without a hat on. It's so funny because she's just got this white forehead and the white line. I've got two that I want to answer. So Anne has asked, how do we plan our routes? Uh, we are going to do a whole video on that as well route planning and park ups because that is another question we get all the time mm -hmm. don't we and there's quite a lot of information to cover um, but we don't do a lot of planning but we have ways of finding things when we're on yeah. the road so we'll do all that in a video and then liam liam the terrible has asked um who is the sexiest man in van life now this is a long-standing <laughs> joke liam is third on my list of sexy men in van life don't worry liam you are still on you are still number one on my list it's the hair. She likes the hair. It's the tattoos. In fact, if he put it in plaques, I reckon, <laughs> I reckon Liam could be in. Um, so I was, but, um, Megan's but when you travel in for a long time, out of all three of you, who misses home comforts the most? Me. I do like to be at home sometimes and have... Uh, we was literally just saying this actually, it was like, I wonder when you're going to start missing home and stuff and I wonder if it's going to happen on this trip because I'm loving Norway, but I do like to get home and have just that little bit more space, ease of washing, oh bath. Yeah, you miss home the most, didn't you? Yeah. Probably then AJ would be second. Yeah. And then me and Summer really don't seem to care less, do no, we? No, no. They don't. No, there's nothing I miss. I, like, I don't, This trip, I'm not going to want to go home, I know for a fact. Um, Louise, your photography is great. Have certain films or photographers influenced you at N at all? Um, Emma Plant asks, what crosses AJ? Uh, so when I learned photo when I started learning photography, I didn't really have any like I didn't know YouTube existed or anything like that. So I didn't really have any inspiration. Just BBC Wild I started with wildlife photography, so just BBC Wildlife magazine trying to emulate that. I do follow uh, a few photographers now, Peter McKinnon, um Thomas Heaton, their videos I really like, but I follow them more for their video making skills rather than their photography. Uh, because their photography is so different to what I do, but I don't doubt, sorry. They they would be my two yeah, they would be my two, definitely, I think. I do yeah, like you them. do yeah. yeah. I do hear their voices quite often to be um, fair. So I just need to follow up on the sexiest men in van life thing because everyone wants to know who's number one and two. So number one is John from Life Beyond Bricks, just because he's like one it's the, the shorts. It's the shorts. And uh, number two is um, Rob from Red Pill in Motion because his voice. It's his voice, isn't it? <laughs> Plus, I just put them at one and two because I know it really pisses Liam off. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a bonus for you. Oh, someone said it's a trap. Don't eat the brown cheese. Oh, that's not nice, is it? Uh, right. <coughs> How old? We've asked how old age is most. Yeah, and then Nick would be my number fourth. Oh. From the Explorers. I'll go for Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she would. <laughs> who proposed to who? I proposed to Emily, but it was very much under duress. It was, yes. I took her out, made her buy me a ring, <laughs> and then said, no, now propose to me. And then moaned because it wasn't romantic enough. That was true, actually. That is exactly what happened. Yeah. You didn't even take me out. It was in the bedroom. Um, any advice on LGBT friendly places and places to avoid? Uh, we've never had any problems, not just when we travel in the van, but prior travel, even when we've been to places where it's illegal. In the tourist spots, it's kind of generally accepted that English people are going to be there and they're going to be gay or whatever. The only place we've ever had any kind of homophobic ab abuse is in the UK. Yeah, so far, yeah. Yeah, when we was coming down them steps in JD Sports or JJB Sports or whatever, and that guy... It's the young oh, guys yeah. from the UK, young testosterone-filled guys from... Don't, like... But we haven't had any <clears throat> problems anywhere else, so... No, no. 
So, and we've had very, very few in the U. Like we've literally once or twice, isn't it? It's not. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, it's not like being but we really are, bad or anything like that. We but are cautious. Anywhere we think it might be, we're not particularly uh, PDA kind of people no. too much. Anyway, are we? No. And most of the time, we can't stand each other, no. so it's not an issue. No, exactly. So <laughs> Um, how do you cope with wet weather gear and AJ after walks in the rain? Actually, it is quite difficult and if we had more space, that's what I'd want a shower room for. Not to shower, to hang the wet gear. but to hang the wet gear in. because and, that... and an awning so that we could dry yes. him off and get all our wet clothes off outside. So an yeah. awning is something we're probably going to add, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, an awning is yeah probably going to be on the list for the the next upgrades in later on in the year, ready for... For the snow. Or you answer this one because you get this one all the time, just a little bit. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, so, so someone's someone's yeah. asked, uh, tell us a bit of time of tell us about your time in the navy. So, I joined when I was sixteen. I couldn't wait to leave home, <laughs> um, just because yeah, it was it was for me to leave and go off and do what I wanted to do. Um, I ended up in the military police. I done just short of seven years. My last ship was a survey ship, which was HMS Scott, and I absolutely loved it. I loved being at sea. I got to travel about. Um, yeah, it was just awesome. And I think that's where my travel bug comes from, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you loved your time in the Navy, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I Sometimes I regret leaving, but then if I didn't, I wouldn't be here. So it could have been a whole different route. We, can, yeah. we can send you back. <laughs> we can soon send you back. How do your extended family feel about you being away for a long period of time? Mine don't care. No one cares. <laughs> no. no one cares. Joni, is Joni here? Joni, do you care? Is Joni, I've not seen Joni actually. Yeah, actually, where is she? Oh, your mother. See, yeah, this I is know. it. Our parents <laughs> couldn't give a toss. We're how about like, two thousand kilometers away from home. I haven't spoken yeah. for weeks. No I one don't cares. Care. My dad, um, my dad says he can't. Um, he gets. He can't watch our videos. Um, for all of the for the whole time because I annoy him too much. <laughs> so. Who does the yeah. smelliest farts? Without a shadow of a doubt. It's only after stuffing. Uh, have we considered changing to a motorhome for more room and facilities? The problem we... We did look at a motorhome originally. The problem we have with a motorhome is although they're bigger, there isn't more space because there's so much in there. We need floor space for the pets and whatnot. So that's mm -hmm. why we ended up building our own. Uh, but I wouldn't rule out a motorhome... Uh, at a later stage in life. Yeah, no. Yeah. But at the moment, this van gets pretty much everywhere. So sometimes I even think I want smaller, like Vinny, like Nick and Sarah's, because they can get that thing anywhere. anywhere. Oh my they? God, yeah. When he parked up next to us, we was like, he won't get in there. He won't get in there. No. He won't, I'm going to, I'm like, yeah, he won't get, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Straight in. in. Yeah. <laughs> Done, wasn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, someone keeps asking about seeing AJ. We will let you see AJ um, towards the, like when we're wrapping up and stuff, we generally just do a quick, here's AJ and here's Summer and stuff. So we'll do, the, do that at the end. Um, how's the water level been? The water level? Yeah. Oh, it's just gone now. You just made that question up, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> How are you keeping AJ and Summer cool? Do you know what? We've only had a couple of days of really hot weather. So. We've had four days where it was over 30. Um, and, oh, hold on, that's my light gone. It is tough, uh, but if you park your van in the shade, and make sure there's no sun coming in through the side door then it's not too bad isn't it but yeah finding shade is We're definitely not the a disco. <laughs> finding shade is definitely the key i think yeah when it comes to uh having pets in a van and also try and park by water i guess when you're away from the uk what do you miss uh what do i miss about the uk uh, <laughs> I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm really trying. <laughs> really, really, really trying. <laughs> Take your tea bags. Yeah, but I've bought you enough, so. Yeah, you have bought me enough, to be fair. Yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm so excited to be exploring and stuff that I don't really think about home when we're away. I just don't really think about it. She makes me watch the BBC News, and I'm like, oh, like, because I don't want to. I just don't want to know. It's so yeah. bloody depressing. Now I like to see all that stuff. I I miss like. Um, my mum, Joni, I like going for my coffee, like with Joni and stuff in the morning, having my biscuits and that. Um, yeah, that's, I like, I miss them types of little things really, just that little home comforts. Did you get to see the golden rivet? 
don't drop, but just don't read things that you don't, you don't, don't understand. Know. I don't know. I don't <laughs> keep throwing yeah, things at me. As well, it keeps like, it keeps, I don't know what it's doing. I just don't know. It keeps moving. Look, even when I'm... Yeah, that's because new stuff's coming. You have, to, you have to hold your thumb on it because they're coming quick. So it just keeps going up. So you have to hold your thumb to stop ah. it. So you're miles away. Oh, this is what I mean. You I don't know do where this. I am. You need to do this. That's it. And then just start again. Oh, okay. Oh, look, Court to Meeks, China's was high on our list um, when we came back. I bet, because obviously the places you've been, but here, there's loads of Chinese restaurants. Another point for Emily honestly, for the Norway score. Genuinely. There is Chinese restaurants everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah. I was like, I'm never leaving. And it tastes the same as well as like yeah. the, the, the English Chinese that we get. Yeah, it was, it's so good. Yeah. Nick and Sarah, so jealous of you up there. I know it's 40 odd degrees yeah, in Portugal. Yeah, so I feel for you guys actually at the moment. It's Just come like, up here. Yeah. Just come up here. We've got mosquitoes and rain, but it's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And Nick will be able to park anywhere, so. Um, have you had waterfall overload yet? Uh, we drove past right? so <laughs> when you drive around Norway right there's literally waterfalls coming out of the walls everywhere sometimes you'll look and you can literally just count we counted 13 the other day just yeah. in one, it was like this 13 so they're quite big and they're quite tall they're like I don't know probably like 100 meters up on average and Emily went nah it's just a piddly one it was like 200 <laughs> meters up gushing like, look at that little waterfall it's like, oh, just a trickle so Emily has now uh, lost the like wow factor with waterfalls didn't you uh, do you know look I absolutely love waterfalls and I love being near water but there is a lot and they are literally everywhere and stuff so yeah we must have seen this is no word of a lie we must have seen over 200 waterfalls since we've been here easy e easy easily. just dr mostly just driving yeah as well. definitely definitely have you ever got fanny stuck well, um, I'm going to refrain from answering that question. <laughs> My brain's on innuendo overload. Uh, one time we very nearly got her stuck, didn't we? And that was in France. We just got the new tyres and set off on that trip. Oh, and we yeah. went to that park up and you went down first. And yeah, and told you not to go down there. Told her not to go down there. Yeah, I nearly got stuck. Um, so, Carlos, but we love your honesty and love and love you have for one another. How do you maintain that? <laughs> Can't stand her really. Well, I've actually got another van outside. You just don't see that on the drone shops. No, it's tough. Like that, any long-term relationship or marriage is tough. So mm -hmm. we give each other space. I think for us, that is incredibly important, isn't it? So that's why I say when we get back to the UK, you'll probably go to work because that's what Emily enjoys because she's a nut job. And I will probably go off and do something that I like just and we'll have space from each other, wouldn't we? Yeah. And that is honestly, if we don't if we don't do that, we would really struggle. So there's times even when things are good, there are times, especially in a van, that it can be tough. Yeah, yeah, it is, isn't it? And, like, and just sometimes like even because you're working, doing like the vlogging and the editing and stuff like that. And I'm working, doing my work and we don't always like the same thing on like to watch or and things like that or as like chill outs and stuff so when you're in a house you can go to different rooms or whatever but in a van you've only got that one space so sometimes i'm like can you just edit in the evening so i can just have some me time yeah we're very very different people actually we've got very different interests haven't mm -hmm. we so yeah i uh, like murder stuff yeah it's <laughs> <laughs> it's um i think as well it's accepting that and making compromises and making uh time and space available mm -hmm. for the other person to do the things they like so like you're gonna have a holiday this year on without me aren't you so so yeah there's all those things i might do a safari without her so i've been so <laughs> i'm all right um is the midnight sun having any effect on your sleep and moods yeah it's not the moods but definitely the sleep 100 percent the sleep yeah without a doubt and i am someone that can sleep standing up on a head type of thing but even i am having like a lot later nights and stuff and that now aren't i like yeah quarter past 10 this is you're staying up to about 11 most yeah. nights yeah i'm going to bed about 12 one o'clock and then mm -hmm. getting up about six not it's not because of the light because even at home we don't even close the blinds in the bedroom but it's because i know it's light i feel like if I go to sleep, I'm wasting daytime. Mm -hmm. So, and we've only got a short time here that, on this trip, so I don't want to waste any time yeah. sleeping, if that makes sense. So, yeah, it's definitely, definitely, and I look tired as well. Like, in every time yeah, I, I take a picture, I'm like, like Jesus Christ, Christ you look tired. Yeah, I'm trying to do the bags and stuff under the eyes. I need to get some tea bags on there. 
Um, do you always take AJ and Summer out for the toilet or does Summer have a kitty litter? If so, how do you manage the smell? So, um, yes, AJ goes out all of the time for his toilets. Summer has never gone outside, even in the house. She got picked on as a kitten um, and then refused to leave the house for quite some time after that, didn't she? Mm. And so has always had a litter tray. Um, and basically, as soon as she poops, whether that's two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, in the afternoon, we're up on it, bag it out, gone. out. Yeah, because it stinks. stinks. Yeah. So yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it's it's not nice. And she used to do it at like half three in the morning. She does it honestly. <sighs> if she like... wants something and we don't give in, she will go and have a shit just to get your attention. <laughs> yeah. I, I swear to God, she is clever enough that she does that. <laughs> I think so. And another thing she's learned is if she walks on my laptop while I'm editing, yeah. eventually I will get so annoyed at her that you will then feed, feed her. her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, she's figured all that out. She's not she's so stupid. so clever. It's ridiculous. Um, why doesn't Louise want to fly anymore? So I've flown a lot. Like, I've flown, I don't even know how many times, like loads and loads and loads of times. But as I've got older and as uh, we've had animals, like responsibilities, I've just developed a fear from it. And I'm also starting to develop, which is a real recent thing, a fear of heights, which is quite hilarious because I've done nothing but take the piss out of Emily for years. But I am starting to get a small, a slight, 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 slight fear of heights. So I think it's just age, age and responsibilities, I think. Yeah. So I will fly again, but probably when we haven't got AJ in summer. Yeah, she has to fly again because we're going to be doing an American and Canadian trip. This, this has to happen. And Costa Rica. I want to go to Costa yeah. Rica so bad that I will get on a plane. So, Would you ever move to another country? Absolutely, 100% I would, yeah. I... I um not there this is going to be a big sticking item for us at some point isn't it I yes think, I don't... This, this is when the big the big breakup video will come out <laughs> <laughs> now i think what we might have to do is buy something cheap in the uk so we've got a uk base and then i in an ideal world we'd have something in the uk wouldn't we small yep. with so enough space to park the van and to give us like a a safe you know like a, a what's it called a flea hole no not a flea hole, <laughs> flea hole. <laughs> what's it called a bolt hole a bolt hole <laughs> <laughs> so boat hole in the uk and then i'd love some sort of cabin somewhere in scandinavia and then some sort of either land or apartment or something somewhere warm so probably portugal or southern spain so i that don't would... know where she's getting the money from for all these three abodes that she's like That's accumulating here <laughs> so yeah that would be the dream but we have like emily would rather sort out the place in the uk and then do the others whereas i think we're young let's do the others and then worry about the uk one later so we'll we'll just have to see where we go with it but we definitely i definitely think we'll have something abroad at somewhere yeah so, she, so you can see you can see she's not keen on this right yeah which uh, i'm extremely at home is um will you ever sell up and do van life full time no 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 if i was on my own i would do van life full time um, and if it was just us, we'd make, we'd consider it. But with Summer and AJ getting older, no, because for them to have, like, AJ's legs are going to be an issue at some point in his life. So Yeah, and he, I just think he would be more comfy. He won't be comfortable in the van. The getting in and out the door will yeah. be, is, is eventually going to become a problem. The damp, especially in the winter, is going to be difficult. So, no, but we may sell up and do full-time van life for, like, 12 months or something if we know if we figure out what we want to buy we'll sell up and then travel for 12 because we save money when we travel don't we mm -hmm. so we could travel hammer all that money away to buy whatever it is we want to buy the perfect perfect place come up the other day didn't it in Northumberland? oh yes but it was cash buyers only and we don't have enough so and obviously we still have our house so we're not in a position to to jump on anything like that so i yeah. think at some point we'll put ourselves in a position ready to to jump to jump on it so yeah, there might be yeah. a period of time where we're full-time but it'll be full-time with an end date if that makes sense yeah um what's the cost of the internet in the van uh 30, 30 pound a month we pay for unlimited ee internet we're on an old ee contract so we're still getting unlimited roaming so and i think that's going to continue as well yeah we haven't been charged <laughs> any extra for it <coughs> rude bloody covid <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> Uh, dog ramp we get suggested this a lot for aj the problem with a ramp is we know his legs are bad he knows his legs are bad later but he doesn't know they're bad before he goes out so we've tried a ramp he just jumps off the side of it so we'd need 
a very long ramp with sides and yeah. it, where would we keep that in the van oh, so honestly even when he used to go to agility you, he could never do the seesaw because he would just keep jumping off of the side and stuff or go up the yeah it just didn't work with him at all uh, many people in the uk would love to start van life but need ongoing residual income any advice we have done a whole video on this but mm -hmm. um don't do YouTube because it takes a long time to build up any like a steady income stream. Yeah. I would say either relearn new skills that you know are easily takeable on the road. Um, and I wouldn't go for a creative skill. So a lot of people like try photography and stuff. There's making money and those things are difficult. I would try either IT or teaching or finance or accountancy. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. In this day and age after COVID is very easy to take on the road or i try finding something in your existing skill set, but maybe change company or convince your company that you can take it on the road, which is what you've done, yes. isn't it? You've taken an office-based job and, and made it, it mobile. So, yeah. so I believe I believe this is possible for everybody, but I believe you just have to be a realistic about the skill set you've got and what you can learn and how you can take that on the road. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that's right. And plan for it. Don't just buy a van and say I'm going. Like put the wheels in motion before you go. Yeah. Um, how old are we both? Currently, we're both 36, but Louise is nine months older than me and she'll be 37 soon. Yeah, 37 years young. Mm, that's right. Yeah. Where did we go in Mexico? Uh, we went... Plaid, no. Yeah, Plaid, Riv No, Plaid, Riv Riv Riviera Maya. Plaid, yeah, Riviera Maya. Plaid or Carmen. Yeah, Plaid or Carmen. Uh, so on the east coast, the Caribbean, Caribbean side. The yeah. Caribbean side, yeah. We've been there a couple of times. And that's where I'm going on holiday. She's going for cocktails, isn't you? You're oh, I am. Yeah, I'm going for... Oh, honestly, my flag is going to be up because I'm going all inclusive and I'm going to get cocktails. I'm going to get pretzels. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to snorkel. It's going to be amazing. I'm going to love it. And Louise is going to be at home looking after AJ in summer. <laughs> Um, what's your favourite thing from the Chinese? Uh, sweet and sour chicken. Mine used to be beef and black bean sauce, but now it's no, just she's a vegetarian. egg fried rice. It's, just, it's just black bean sauce. <laughs> uh, because of copyright, etc., you can't choose your video music, but if you could choose one song or band to soundtrack, who would it be? I would have Queen blasting in the back oh, of all of our videos. No. Absolutely no, no, 100%. No. Or Meatloaf. A bit of Meatloaf for the driving shots. But out of hell, that would be awesome, wouldn't it? No. She'd have Michael Jackson. I would have Michael Jackson as well. I, oh, do you know what? So gutted. You know when the people ask who's a person that you would like have round the campfire or whatever? Michael Jackson, without a doubt, honestly. <laughs> Strange person. Yeah. Uh, Maria and Will have just rocked up, so you've just lost a point on the friendship uh, <laughs> list there. You've been knocked down. Come on. <laughs> You're only like one of two. It's, I reckon Will's like, well, she just slagged off BMW drivers, so I'm not going. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, but don't worry, you've got you've got the nice mini. <laughs> Emily, read all the comments in two minutes. I can't read them like in in fifty two minutes, let alone in two minutes. Um, we're travelling with a dog too. Do you need any special certificates to bring your cat and dog back to back into the EU? Uh, well, yes. If you if you leave the EU. And when I say leave the EU, I'm talking like Turkey or Morocco. You will need, there's definitely paperwork you need. You need a teacher test, uh, the tapeworm thing probably. If you're coming back to the UK from Europe, you will need to get your dog a tapeworm tablet. But some of, we don't have to get her anything no. extra apart from the passport we've got her. Yeah. If you haven't got a passport, you'll need an animal health certificate every four months to keep moving around. So you'll need to keep getting those in various different countries. So it can get tricky. Yeah. But generally, if you just come into the eu you're good on the animal health certificate for four months or the pet passport indefinitely except for that worming tablet and just a little fun fact about the worming tablet as well because uh, when i was looking at it as to why aj needed it but summer didn't need it it's about if they do because they can both pick up the tapeworm but aj can produce it and redo it in his stomach or something and pass it on and pass it on to humans whereas cats they can't do the thing in their stomach so it doesn't pass on which i thought was quite cool that is very interesting. You wasn't even listening Zoned at out. all. Zoned out. Have you ever struggled with four wheel, four wheel drive? Struggled with it or yeah. without it? With It says with four wheel drive, but maybe they mean without then. Yeah, I'd love to have four wheel drive. It would be ideal, but I can't, we just can't afford those four wheel drive vans. It's crazy money. I oh, know. I'd love... Oh, I have seen them. I'd, yeah, I'd love one of them. Yeah. But oh, no, God. generally we're okay on the two wheel drive. You just obviously don't drive it in like sand or... 
like really deep mud. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but most places you don't. Most places where you're going with a van of this size, you don't really need four wheel drive. So yeah, I'm a little bit snotty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, would you ever rent out your house? No, no, I wouldn't rent out the house. It's just too much faff and effort, and we like to go back. We like to, it. to have the as well. Yeah, we like to go back, and it's the bolt hole for us, isn't it? The flea hole. Yeah, it's, it's a flea. Yeah. When I say flea <laughs> hole, I meant we could flee to it. Yeah, it's the flea hole. So no, I don't think I, I, but what I would do is if we ever sold this one and bought a new one, I would rent that one out before we did any work on it. So say mm. we bought a new one, but said, well, we don't want to live in it for the next two years. Then I'd rent it out before we'd invested time and it would become our home. Yeah, Whilst yeah. we're in that like full time mode, but no, not really. Do you have any siblings and are they jealous of your lifestyle? So I've got, I've got two real brothers and two step brothers. I'm the only girl and the youngest. I got picked on. <laughs> <laughs> and she has spent the rest of her life picking on everyone else for it, haven't you? <laughs> Making up for it. Um, but no, they're, they're not jealous of, of my lifestyle. No, I have three sisters and they're, we're all different, you know? So they've yeah. all got kids. We obviously mm. don't have kids, so... Yeah, you know, I yeah all so. of my brothers have got kids and stuff like that. So they're all happy doing what, what they, they do and stuff. Sometimes I think that we're a little bit stupid, <laughs> but... Right. Brilliant our chat must do more. We do, the next one will be a hundred thousand subscribers, so we'll see you in about nine years' time. <laughs> <laughs> no, we will we will do more. We would like we we try and do one every sort of six months, don't we? Yeah, yeah we do. Um your Norway videos have been fantastic. I'm laughing out loud. The piddly waterfalls. <laughs> the I tell you what, Norway. I've never had so much fun filming a country. It's like, like really, we should take a break. But it's like you, there's so much to film, and when you have struggled filming things in the UK through lockdown and stuff, and you get here, it's just it's definitely that's why the videos I think are are decent because it's exciting to film it all. I reckon. Mm -hmm. So yeah. speaking of that, um, good question from Courts and Meeks. Uh, okay, proper question. How do you stay excited about the places you visit and attractions, viewpoints you see when you've seen 10 similar ones in the past? It's tough, right? We're so spoiled. It, do you know what? We are spoiled and I think that's when we go back to like the, the waterfall things as well, isn't it? Sometimes... Yeah, so we just mix it up. So like mm. we've done done quite a bit on the coast and now we're right in the middle of like the, of Norway now. So we've come away from the coast and so like... I think I said in one of the, I don't know if that video has come out yet, but I say, oh, sorry, it's like another waterfall vlog. So we've moved and now we're in the forest. So I'm filming something completely different tomorrow and I'm really excited. I'll probably get up early and I'll go out and I know I've, I know I can get different drone shots and there's going to be wildlife and nature. So I just mixing it up, which is probably why we don't stay in an area for too long. Yeah, yeah. When it's all the same, you same. Yeah, you, you have, you've got to mix it up, haven't you? Otherwise, like you say, you, you're kind of sport sometimes and you don't want to have them types of feelings do you i suppose it's a bit yeah it's a bit of a weird one i think because we flip flop back to the uk quite often as well it does you don't have to be in the uk for too long not seeing these things before you're excited and that's another reason why we like the house is because every time we do a trip we're excited mm -hmm. like whereas if we was in the van full time i think you'd lose that excitement to be so every time we go back home we spend a couple of months at home and then, yeah. we're, then we're excited to, to go, go again, again. so yeah. it makes it easy doesn't it and as well like sometimes i think that you need like well for, from my point of view sometimes i feel like you need like a little bit of a respite from being in the van because as like couldn't couldn't love this lifestyle like anymore if that makes sense but finding park ups every day finding water finding waste um, dealing with bad weather when it comes and it's, stuff it, like that. It, do, it, it does, does get tiring. Yeah, I well, I definitely think so anyway. Yeah, except, f like, don't get me wrong, in the French Alps it's easy and here it's like it's we're not really having easy, to think yeah. about finding water because yeah. there's literally one every... In fact, sometimes we're going to empty the toilet and not yeah. even putting water in because we've yeah. still got so much water from the previous one, so... Yeah. Any plans to tour around the UK? Yes, we have Scotland, the rest of Wales, Ireland, UK, all on our list, but we have to... Because of the Schengen thing, it's like we're going to come out here and do a bit, and then we'll go back and do a bit of the UK, and then like go out again, and then come back and do a bit mm -hmm. of Scotland. And because we're not going to be able to do all of Scotland in a short time, so yeah, or yeah. we personally would prefer not to. We're quite slow, so yeah. Um, what's the wire hanging down at the front, and does it annoy you? Yes, it does annoy me. Louise has the most annoying thing ever that whenever she does any decorating, building, whatever, in any room, van whatever it is there is something that is left and that 
was meant to be a light. Yeah, and it's unfinished. So I'm still working on the van. This is it, right? <laughs> oh, so when she up. says to me, oh, can you redecorate the bathroom? I'm still working on the van. <laughs> still got stuff to do in the van. Honestly, mate, people just leave Honestly, one... mate, <laughs> just honestly. Leave... Just leave one thing unfinished and then you've got a constant excuse. Yeah, sorry, I would do that, but I'm, bu I'm busy working on the van. <laughs> You're such an I'm going to go and take that cable to the ceiling honestly. again. In the house, in the living room, the radiator's not back on the wall, one of them. In the kitchen, <laughs> the light is not, like, done. In the hallway, the banister is not up. In the, the light... bathroom, well, let's not get started on the bathroom, The light people. in the kitchen isn't done because it caught on fire and now I don't <laughs> want to touch it. So it's not burning down at the minute, so we're just going to leave it as it is and you can have a lamp. And door, door handles, don't have them. <laughs> just, just don't have them. It's ridiculous, honestly. Uh, how's the stalker situation? We yeah, we get asked that quite a bit. It's finished, I think. I'm pretty sure it's finished. We've had nothing now for a little while, have we? So yeah, yeah, and we're like a long way away. Yeah. Um... Favorite all time movies: The Lion King. What a classic that is! Oh, what's mine? Dirty Dancing. Yeah, and it's on Netflix as well. But you won't watch it, will you? No, because it's a pile of crap. No, it's not. Um, someone said, "Have you ever met Thomas Eaton?" No, you missed out. No, he was at, um, <laughs> where was he, at Stratford. And because... Um, and people took great pleasure in telling her. Because everyone knows I like his videos. I got bombarded with um, photos of his, because he's got a really cool small van conversion. Um, I got bombarded with photos of that, didn't I? So that weekend I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I, I find it so funny. It was the highlight of my day. This is funny. I just got a notification from YouTube. And because there's 1,900 people, it's going... Insert ads, insert ads. <laughs> <laughs> give, it, no, give it a try. Now, now's a good time to insert ads. Loads it's, of people yeah, are watching. Insert ads. <laughs> Fuck off. Today's video is sponsored by YouTube itself. <laughs> I just that was funny. What Wi Fi do you have set up in the van? We just did this. EE. Oh, sorry. EE. Oh, do you carry COVID tests with you when you travel? Are you running into any places in Europe that still require masks? Yes, so we have got some COVID tests, uh, the lateral flow ones and stuff. And no, we haven't had to wear masks as of yet. On Co COVID restrictions are yeah. completely gone. Like, there's still um, hand sanitizer around, but apart from that, there's there's no COVID yeah. uh, restrictions whatsoever. Um, great, Graham Moore, just joined. What have I missed? About an it. hour, mate. Most of it, because <laughs> yeah. it's half past ten, and I know that Emily has an hour limit on these things, so she's going <laughs> to, in a minute, she's going to start wrapping things up, so... Uh, how do you um, not go to bed at the same time? We would always wake each other up in the van. Oh, she sleeps like a <laughs> Honestly, anything. She sleeps right through it. Yeah, it just doesn't doesn't bother me at all. I literally have to move her as well, don't I? Like, um, oh, yeah. yeah. She has oh. to move over this side when I first mm -hmm. come to bed so that I'm that side for like yeah. drinking my tea because the side and that's there. And then when I come to like sleep, sleep, I then move you back over this side and you don't. She just grumbles. and just... Yeah, I just grumble and move. I'm just like, yeah, okay, fine. Oh, scariest thing that's happened in your travels. Scariest thing that's happened. Well, that for me was probably in Mexico when I got lost in Tijuana when there was... Maybe they're talking about like van life travels. Oh, they? scariest thing in our van life travels? Yeah. Probably when we got stuck in that mud and I really thought we weren't going to get out. And that was in COVID times as well. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to have to go around the countryside of France trying to find a farmer to come and tow me out. That was there. That was pretty scary. Oh, for you and that mountain road where we nearly drove off the edge. Oh, my God. Yeah, that was... That was horrendous and so we come up to a hairpin bend and i was too long to get all the way around it so i had to like three point turn it around but it was like on a it was slope. probably about i don't know 15 16 percent gradient something like that yeah and um, with no barrier right on the edge sheer drop and i did like a couple of shuffles and i was about to do the last shuffle and i was right on the edge and I, oh God. I stalled it, didn't I? I slipped the gear, yeah. stalled it, and then rolled. So I knew that next time, literally inches. We would, we would have gone over the edge. And I literally, I was just like, because I was trying not to react. And I just sat there like that. And I was just thinking, maybe I should just take me and AJ out of the van on my outside for <laughs> her. <laughs> uh, how are the lithiums uh, coping? Yeah, the lithiums are great. They've been fine, haven't they? Don't miss a beat. And actually, we're getting a lot of questions. A lot of people are saying, oh, how are you, are you struggling for solar because you're in the north? Uh, no, because it's daylight all the time. Even when the sun isn't shining, I think the most our batteries have ever been down, because on the app it tells you how many amp hours you've used, I think the most is 26 amps. Normally, when we wake up in the morning, it's like, you've used 13 amp hours. Mm -hmm. And then they're topped up again by 
I don't know, like 6am because obviously it's been daylight. So solar and the lithiums have been brilliant out here. Yeah. Not having to worry about power at, at all. all. It's really good. Um, AJ, his name is, we don't, he was a rescue. So he came with that name and he had quite a few issues when we first got him. Um, so we didn't bother changing his name. So we don't actually know what it stands for, but it's AJ, Ajaxy Rooney, Ajax, Roost, Rooster Toost. Yeah. There's, he's got loads of names now, bless him. Adorb Silla, what's your mum and dad's name? And then we'll say hi. Or we'll just say hi. 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 Ad <laughs> Ad Adorb Silla's mum and dad. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Who named the van Fanny and why? So no. we didn't name the van. So that was our good friend and long-term supporter of the channel, yes, Paul yes. Smart, named the van Fanny. Um, I made a quick... A no, did he name it Fanny? And then I made a joke about us both yeah. liking being in Fanny. Yeah. And then it's just spiralled from there. But I think the best thing was that he christened the van last year, didn't he, when we was at... Um... Yes, yes, when we was at uh, Stratford, because he named the van, he came with a can, can of beer, beer, shook it up and christened the van, so she is officially... And got all sticky. <laughs> Fanny did get very sticky, sticky that day, yeah. so... Um, what cameras do you use? Uh, so for the main vlogging camera is a Sony a7C with a Zeiss 16 to 35 millimeter lens. I also have a 24 to 70 on there as well. Um, and then we've just got the GoPro 10. If you're looking for a starter camera for vlogging, quite often now I'm leaving the Sony indoors, especially for the stuff in towns, you know, the quick run and gun stuff. And I'm using the GoPro 10 and the, I'm filming in 2.7K exporting in 1080 and it's really really good isn't it and the audio's improved a lot on it as well from mm -hmm. our gopro 8 so that's what used to annoy me with the gopro 8 the shadows were completely gone and the audio was terrible but the 10 is really with the media mod we've got the media mod so i quite like the 10 uh yeah and then just the drone and i think that's it oh and i'm using the iphone quite a lot for like road footage and yeah. stuff yeah speaking of filming what percentage of filming is on um tripod v's handheld most of it's on uh, a lot of it's hand it's hand. Hand. I do, yeah. do we do do quite a lot more on tripod than most i think like drive like we do drive by shots and things like that yeah drive by shots yeah. um uh I, I was probably i don't know 75 80 percent handheld and yeah. then 10 percent 20 10 to 20 percent <laughs> where's tripod. your maths there <laughs> it's, like, it's like it's been a long day <laughs> i'm a newbie 63 year old with a wife and dog where would you recommend for our first foreign trip uh, with a wife and dog and a newbie, I would say go to France. I would say go to France and head uh, to the east side and do not not into the full Alps because some of the you do have to be a bit savvy about the roads in places in the Alps. But yeah. maybe just do the lower part of the Alps. You're going to get good weather in the summer. Park ups are plentiful. It's very accepted that people go camping. You can find water everywhere mm -hmm. and you're not too far from home. Um, I believe the West Coast gets busy and because it's by the coast, park ups are harder. So I would just say, yeah, head to the east side of central France. Would be, don't do the, uh, what's the bit at the bottom? Don't do the French Different, Riviera because no. you can't park anywhere. But, yeah, it's yeah. so hard down there, isn't it? Yeah, definitely around, don't go in as far as Chamonix, but maybe just to the left if you're looking at the map of Chamonix and do that region around there because it's quite easy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The light behind our head, is it 240 two volt? No, it's 12 volt. 12 volt, 12 volt. It's 12 volt. I, may, I had to make it myself uh, because there's the 12 volt lights that are available to buy are just horrible. So, yeah, I bought, um, that's a special 12 volt bulb and then I've just run 12 volt cable up through there and then wired it through that bulb holder thing. What's the current status of the snack cupboard? I can't tell you. You're going to have to stay tuned. Oh, yeah, that's our big storyline. A big cliffhanger. <laughs> yeah, big cliffhanger. You I get, can't reveal you it. You get quality content here on the channel is, <laughs> yeah. is Emily's snack cupboard. The cliffhanger is the snack cupboard. <laughs> oh, honestly, treating you. Uh, what app are we using for the live stream? Just YouTube. We're just doing it straight through YouTube yeah. itself. Right, Mike and Cam... Mike and Carol, or Caro, sorry. Mike and Caro, or Carol, I'm not sure. Hello, I hope you're having a great evening. Uh, and then I think... Oh, there's loads of that stuff with the cameras. Come to New Zealand where the men are men and the sheep are nervous. We have that over <laughs> here and we call it Wales. Wales. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Stop insulting the Welsh. Oh, come on, you. I love the Welsh. The Welsh are they're, they're full of banter. It's anyway, fine. Ant wants to know are you going to upload any more to your other channel, Louise? <sighs> Pull your finger out. I just don't have the time. I just don't have the time. I would love to, but I just don't have the time. So maybe 
um, in the future. I think uh, when this channel is a bit bigger, then maybe I can put more time and ticks over a bit more on its own. Yeah. I can put maybe a bit more time into the other channel, but I, the, I don't have the time I want to put into I don't want to make shit videos. I want to make good videos over there or as good as I, I'm able to make. So that's the problem. I don't want to just chuck out content for content's sake. I, I'm very anal about the videos, so... Oh my god, honestly. And I do, I really enjoy it and I want it to stay that way so I need to make sure that they make them good rather than just, I don't want to go down the route of chucking out content for content's sake because that will destroy it for me and then it will become a job and then I won't want to do it. So mm -hmm. that's where I'm at. I can't, at the minute I'm really enjoying doing two videos a week on this channel because there's so much to film that I just cannot squeeze in anything over over there at the minute. One. Yeah. Um, is LPG easily obtainable out there? Yes. In Europe, it's uh, there's l definitely less in Norway. We've seen probably four, five, maybe four. <laughs> We've used one. Yeah. Uh, we topped up one. We didn't need it, but I know it's uh, harder to find. So well, I think it's been okay. Well, we haven't needed it, but mm. uh, LPG gas bottles. There's yeah. hundreds of places yeah, for gas. Yeah, there's, there's, there's loads of places. Like literally, just not even like in garages and stuff like random places it's all self-service all self-service 24 like a, like hours a vendor, it's like a gas vending machine yeah and you just go pay with your cards and then open up and you get your gas bottle and stuff so yeah it's quite good for that but lpg i don't think like we have seen quite a few of the the lpg stations so uh how about setting up a website for the photography stuff again that is half finished i just it's just finding the time it's like people are always asking for merch it's mm -hmm. just it's just finding the time and I know we should probably like do that because we'll make money but we just don't have the time and yeah. we just want to do the things we enjoy and for us that's the travel and making the videos so yeah that's all there is I time would actually for. like some camper vibe um you want your own t-shirt like? I want my own t-shirt <laughs> I'm still waiting for that people yeah I want uh, my own like camper vibe um Workout gear, exercise stuff. You can have your own camera. Workout gear and exercise stuff, that's fine. Ah, uh, now the cookbook. The cookbook is far more achievable for me to get out. I have the first draft. Well, I don't have the first draft anymore. Maria and Will have it. Although if they keep rocking up late to lives, we're going to have to reset it. Well, yeah, it. exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that could be published in a minute because there's like four recipes. And when I use the word term recipe. Yeah, loosely. Very loosely, yeah. <laughs> How good is phone internet access in um, Norway? Uh, it's been brilliant. Phone phone signal, you've had phone signal everywhere? No. Two okay. places we didn't have internet. Did was you it have... two? Yeah, there was the uh, the, gla uh, the glacier. The glacier, yeah. And there was one other place. I can't remember where yeah. that was. But funny though, at the glacier, like I didn't have it there. We moved how many yards down the thing? Because it was in the same thing. About uh, 150 yards. 150 yards and I had signal. So it, yeah, just don't always drive straight away from somewhere maybe move about i think the glacier the glacier nearly fried the drone didn't it i don't know <gasps> yeah. if, i don't know if it was the electromagnetic stuff that that glacier was giving off but my drone literally started flying itself didn't it i had no control like mm -hmm. it would ping off forward i'd be able to pull it back but the minute i let go it would then ping off to the left so yeah i think maybe i don't know if that and you fell over it. didn't you i fell over and hurt myself because i couldn't um i had to keep my eyes on the drone at all times and i'm trying to get around all these people and there was this dutch woman that had already had a whinge at me <laughs> and i fell over but i managed to salvage the drone controller and uh yeah i've got a big old lump that won't go you have haven't you bless you um louise's other channel is louise stockbridge on youtube and she does have an instagram as well which is louise stockbridge with all of her wildlife photography and stuff and that on so yeah but i post nothing over on any of them so you can only look at old stuff from yeah but it's very informative i liked that one with the oranges i really understood it's that it's just food based <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> <up>. <laughs> that's not nice is it oh someone must be talking about itchy so itchy boots i don't know if she's come up in conversation but she's another channel i really like oh yeah you like yeah. itchy boots yeah. just because she has, she has got, got some balls she has got some stones on her yeah so yeah. she's she travels solo on a motorbike she's currently just doing south america and the places she goes like i would love to, we can't do that with no, the four no. of us and aj and summer and whatnot but i would love to go out and do some of the places she goes to because she's like mental she is, isn't she? she yeah. yeah, so if you're looking for a decent travel channel to follow, yeah, Itchy Boots is definitely a good one. Yeah, without a doubt. Right. It is... You have surpassed yourself 13 minutes over oh, the time. Honestly, it's because it's still light outside, that's why. Are you done, or do you want to carry on? Well, have you, if there are a few more that you want to answer? I do, I'm just reading them as they come, I don't know. 
well, I'm just carrying this live, honestly. You're just reading <laughs> comments and I'm going the, the questions. You're just not doing anything. How big is the height gap? Do you mean between the two of us? <laughs> Emily's five foot one and I'm five foot seven, so six inches. Which Apparently if you that's are, a lot. If you ask a <laughs> yeah. bike, that is a lot. That's a lot, yeah, exactly. Do you sell caps? No. No, we don't do any merch. I know merch merch will come. I just don't know when it will come, but it will come. So if you hang on in there, maybe maybe by Christmas, I don't know. I don't know. It will come. The problem we have is like you lot that are here right now are lovely, right? But people moan. So <laughs> so the easiest way for us to do merch would be like Teesprings or what's the other one? Red Bubble or one of those ones. But uh, it with yeah. the shipping and stuff, it's just, I think that's the route we will have to go down. It's just going to be the easiest way. We have looked into sorting it ourselves, but it's the shipping because we're never here. We can't do it. So we'll probably have to go down that route, which makes it a bit more expensive, but it is decent quality stuff, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, so we will get to doing that, but I think that's that's the only way we're going to be able to do merch quickly because we just don't have the time or the resources to spend on sourcing the shirts, the company that can embroider it, someone to ship it and keep the cost down and the quality up. It's just too much. So that is what slowed us down with merch. So maybe we'll go down the red bubble or, mm -hmm. or one of those routes. Yeah. So we could probably we could set that up before Christmas. That would be fine. So if, if people want it, then yeah, we'll probably do that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can do that. Because we get asked yeah. all the time. So we will do that. Emily will sort that for you before Christmas. You've got her word. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe that you did that. <laughs> and Willa Maria said that um, when you, they're not giving the cookbook back. They use it daily. <laughs> use it daily. It's got four rest. So all they're eating is jacket potatoes, like, yeah. pot noodles, noodles, and I can't even remember what the other thing in it was. Was it like a salad or something? No, you wouldn't have done that. It that good, actually. I might have put salad in. Oh, yes, AJ and Summer. Are you going to show everyone um, AJ and Summer? Emily. And me. Sorry. Yeah, you. Yeah. Yep. Do you want to see AJ and Summer? Ajaxy Rumi! Hello, Bobby! Hiya, AJ! Hiya, AJ! Look at yeah, you're a good boy! Oh, yes, you're a handsome boy! In his bed and loving it! Oh, someone's come down! Hey, Sam! That's because she thinks someone's going to feed her! Yeah, exactly! Look at her, look! It's just <laughs> right up to the camera! Can you see that? Yeah, oh, I think lost, it's... You lost the internet! Have I? Lost the internet. That's because I moved. Yeah, you moved. Is it gone? It's coming back. It's coming back. It's coming back. Are you back? Uh, I think it's back on there. It's yeah. just me that's struggling on there. Yeah, I think. Can you still still hear us, see us? Are we still moving or are we like, just sit really still and they won't know if I do it? Yeah. I've lost this on here. Uh, yeah, so, well, Joni actually, bless her, she does all of our stickers and stuff and that for us. So, whenever anybody orders any stickers, Joni sends them out for us. So, she does have a job, but we, uh, we could up her job. <laughs> <laughs> no, she can't go shipping like hundreds of hoodies and stuff. <laughs> oh, could you imagine Joni shipping all of that? <laughs> actually, still, I haven't seen her in here. I don't, I don't think she's on. I don't think she's on. She's let us down. I'm going to divorce her. No, not divorce yeah. her. What's the word? You can divorce them, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, you can divorce your parents, yeah. right? Let's do that. Yeah. Okay. You done? Yeah, yeah we're going to go now because I'm just getting loads of hats off comments. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't ignore them for much longer without having to like, <laughs> like acknowledge that they've been coming in. So... Yep, so we're going to wrap it up there, guys. It has been an absolute pleasure to speak to you all today. And just to another thank you. Sorry, they're both waiting at the door. They to both want to go out. out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, another thank you for 50,000 subscribers. Oh, my God. It's yeah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's massive. It's absolutely huge. We did not expect to be in this position, did we, when we started? No, so. no and it And it does, like, the continued support does mean that we can keep doing this which is a winner for us because we wouldn't be able to do this otherwise and a winner for you because you get fucking brilliant videos every week <laughs> don't worry the hat's going to come off soon because her head's not going to fit in there so oh my god but yes thank you guys for joining us and thank you to all of the ones that are up late early whatever the time is 
and wherever we're gonna, you are. We're going to try and end this live stream now with some decorum because it goes wrong every single time. Oh, no. <laughs> so we will see you all. When, what day is it today? Wednesday. Wednesday. We'll see you all on Sunday. On Sunday. Bye. Let me see up your armpit. Oh, your nose. That's what I'm right, don't. It's so <laughs> right, where's my decorum?